Most of us know about meditation. In fact, the vast majority of us have done some meditating in their lifespan. And what it does is really fascinating because it brings us into the present tense, into the moment. And it takes us to a very deep place there where we begin to explore what's happening at that particular instant in time. The idea is to let go. Let your thoughts go. Not be concentrating on trying to feel a certain way. Just to notice the things that happen, the thoughts that you have, and, and see how that feels. And when we do that in a way that's uh, structured, oftentimes in, uh, in connection with guided imagery, it does a lot to change what our, our state of anxiety is like. It helps us to relax and focus on what's happening at the moment rather than our expectation of what's going to happen in the future or what has happened in the past. Now, some studies have been done, at, both at Harvard and uh, some other universities, that show that meditation has long-term effects that uh, actually can predispose how our body will respond when a certain situation comes up. So if we do the right kind of meditation, we can have a kind of effect that's sustaining so that the way our body responds to certain situations will actually be changed in a positive way. The study that was done that was published in Frontiers in Human Neuroscience in November of 2012 really was just a course of eight weeks of meditation uh, that was done in two different ways. One was the typical mindfulness meditation, which is different from what's called compassion meditation. In mindfulness meditation, what happens is we focus on our breath and our thoughts and our emotions. And in compassion meditation, we really develop more of a sense of kindness and compassion for ourselves and for others. Now, the studies at, at Harvard and Boston University that were done uh, looked at, at people who had had a functional MRI three weeks before the meditation course and three weeks after it was completed. And what they looked at was the amygdala, which is a part of the brain that's involved with these kinds of, of these kinds of feelings. And what they found is that if they showed images to people who had the regular mindful meditation, images that showed either a positive effect or a negative effect on, on a person who maybe was suffering or a neutral effect, that after the course they were more relaxed about it and they could and they could just not get upset and, and just it wouldn't have the same kind of effect that it might have had prior to the course that they took on meditation. The other group that did compassion meditation was quite different. There what happened is they found that the body responded in a much different way to negative emotions where people or animals or somebody was suffering. And, and it was something that lasted, meaning that after the course was finished, all these changes seem to be there and were, were, were lasting for a long time. So we know that meditation is a very interesting way to get our, ourselves centered and focused uh, in the moment, but it's also a way of building compassion uh, and having us care about uh, people that are, that are suffering from one reason or another. So when we're Having a problem in our life where we're struggling with anxiety or depression or stress of some kind, and we find it difficult to stay in the moment, meditation of one sort or another is a good idea because it, it's going to have some kind of lasting effect that's going to make it easier for us to deal with stress in the future. <laughs>